LeBron James! I hate to break a guy's heart. He's really dumb. I go up there and I'm telling him I look like a clown. So I'm like, yeah, man, thank you for hiring me. I was underneath the bridge and stealing this other day. I got a job, LeBron! And he's like, yeah, dreams come true, blood. <laughs> I'm like, does he not know him in character? What's up, y'all? This is the Grind and Prosper podcast. So we got OT, say Big Lows. We got a special guest today, say the Boogeyman, say himself. Showtime, go time, mother truckers. So you could uh, introduce man. yourself say, so, and say what you do. To put it easily, I, I am an artist and entertainer. If you're familiar of personalities like Elvira, I'm kind of the same vibe. I become a character, I try to tell a story, and I try to make it interactive with whoever, whatever I'm doing. I've had jobs with uh, high-list celebrities from Katy Perry, Kobe Bryant, the Lakers, Dennis Rodman, Adele, Travis Barker, the Kardashians. Uh, there's a lot of people I've, I've worked with. That, that's And it's funny enough, those aren't my favorite jobs. Okay, and, and when you say work with, let, let people know what work did you do with them. Okay, so let me give you a couple examples. What's the work you do? Let me give you a couple examples. So we do the LeBron James Adele party. So around Halloween, Adele and LeBron James, his wife, are best friends in real life. And they wanted to throw like an A-list Halloween party. Mm -hmm. So they contacted my homie, and he kind of put the crew together. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie or the show Entourage. He's yeah. kind of like... He's kind Showtime, of like, right? I don't know. Yeah, just, but he kind of runs all of us. And... From there, he got us together, and he assembled and made mazes. He did the aesthetic on the wall. He had themed. One room was like like a reptile room where they had like alligators, lizards, and snakes. Then there was a vampire room, and then there was a graveyard. And he kind of put us in different rooms. And these celebs would come through, and we'd interact with them. But you'd do it in character. You'd stay in character. When the 2020 hit, uh, Alabama Barker, Travis Barker's kid, she's a fucking nerd for Halloween her and her brother Landon and they're just knee deep into Halloween but they couldn't go in anything or do anything this is in California by the way so everything shut down there was nothing from the dude for Halloween so Travis Barker reached out through his own personal makeup artist to bring a couple monsters down from Not Scary Farm and other haunts that we have in California to make a maze teach your kids how to make masks how to do makeups and stuff and they brought me in this is fucking 2020, right? And it was a fucking trip. I walk in, and they don't even tell you. So a lot of times when you do these A-list stuff, they never tell you who you're working for until you're there, there. Yeah, well, I mean, why would they? Yeah. So fucking, I go there. I'm like, oh, wow, it's Travis Bark, whatever. And, like, I'm doing my gig. I'm uh, doing all that shit. And, like, it's like magic, right? You, you do your trick, and the magic is cool for an hour. But after that hour, what's the guy going to do, right? So I'm sitting there after like two hours, just like fucking still in character. I'm literally walking around his house trying to stay in character like a zombie and all that shit. And they're like, you could drop the act and hang out if you want. But it doesn't work like that. I can't be like, all right, man. So you guys up to? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm still trying to stay in character and all that shit. It, it, there's a little bit of awkwardness. So I'm like, okay, I'll make a maze for them. And... And I remember fucking going into, he has like a room and it's like all snare drums and trophies from MTV and stuff. And she's like, dad, Gwen forgot her shoes. And he, I look over, I'm holding the shoes. She goes, I'll put it over there. I said, Gwen? She goes, you know, from no doubt, Gwen Stefani. I was like, holy fuck, I'm holding Gwen Stefani's shoes. Yeah. So I, I kind of put it up. And uh, then, you, you smelt it, didn't you? <laughs> I was tempted. Uh, uh, you did. Come on now. <laughs> I, you know, I, I wish because like I've, I've been in some weird situations where it's like, what do I do? I like I don't even know where to start with stories. Like even when we were talking about like how you don't know where you're going half the time. When I did the Adele LeBron party, they picked me up in an SUV. They go to this like fucking parking lot in LA, and this is what's crazy. The parking guy who's parking all this stuff, he knows everything. 
little Mexican guy, he, he has a download, and he's like, oh, yeah, you're here for the liquors, <coughs> right? And I was like, the who? You don't know who the fuck you're here for? And I was like, no, man, I, I don't. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. He goes, fuck, how does I know what we're doing? And I was like, <laughs> wait, you're joining us? He goes, no, I got to park these cars. Said, All right, man. So they take me a block. I go to this fucking building. It looks like a piece of shit building. As soon as I go in, I see these dudes. They're in these, like, dope suits. And they got these, like, little fucking weird pins, and they're talking into shit. They look like the CIA. And they're like, what's his name? I'm fucking giving out my ID. I'm like, whoa, dude, am I going to get busted? Is this a trap? Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, fuck, I quit Coke, so this is not it. I'm thinking all this stuff, right? And I go upstairs. So I go upstairs, and I finally see someone I recognize. I'm like, oh, Brett, what's up, dude? Oh. And what was that? <laughs> oh, hell. Sounds like someone got ass raped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you doing in this building, homie? You know what I'm saying? You right. Hey, well, we're live. <laughs> I think you got diddied for real. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the guy, guy to yeah, do yeah, it Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, please, sir. This so, is the guy uh, to do that. So, so, so he's, a, he's a producer. Oh, okay. Right. So fucking. So go, go, before we got rudely interrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they put the makeup on me, and I went and I did whatever I had to do. I just walked around as a fucking dumb reptile. And I talked to Le- LeBron James. I hate to break your guy's heart. To LeBron it's, James. He's really dumb. He's him. He's really dumb. I go up there and I'm telling him, because I'm, I'm like, I look like a clown. I'm like a homeless. That's a lot of people who hire me. I give them a couple of choices. The goth, the vampire, the clown, or I'll, I'll custom make a character for whatever party you do. Everyone's like, the clown. Give me the clown. So I'm like. Yeah, man, thank you for fucking hiring me. I was underneath the bridge fucking selling you luck this other day. I got a fucking job, LeBron! And he's like, yeah, dreams come true, blood. <laughs> I'm like, does he not know I'm in character? <laughs> I got all this shit on. How do you know about in character? Yeah, yeah you probably did. You know, there's, there's so some I, crazy people out there, you know that. Yeah, I, I don't know if I answered your question. Tell people what I do. I, I just become a character. I'm, I'm an artist. I've done everything from modeling to acting to directing to producing to. So overall, you're an entertainer. Yeah, you uh, entertain to to make money. Yeah, it, it, it's weird. My grandpa, Hispanic, typical cliche, Hispanic, short, fat, loud. He always told me. He had some sage advice. He goes, he'd be like. Mijo, you are what you say you're going to be when you're a baby, mijo. Stang, man. What's going on? What's up, dude? How hey, you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, he is a producer. He brought me water. Tell you, he got, uh, he got the peels in there. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> he, hey. said, oh, he said, oh, he said, oh. He should have called me four that. years ago. I'd be like, give me more. Fuck, don't be greedy. <laughs> but, like, my grandpa told me, he's like, whatever you, you say you're going to be as a kid, you will be in some form or fashion. And I remember when I was a kid with my sister... We used to, this is a different time, folks. My grandpa would drop me off on the freeway to sell fruits and vegetables. Mm-hmm. But, like, it, it wasn't bad. It was, I didn't mind. It's just what we did. And I was fucking young. But I used to do skits. And I'd become characters. And I'd do songs about avocados and stuff. And people would buy them off me. Like veggie toes? I don't know what that is. I'm too old. But... <laughs> but uh, but it, it, it but not relatable. I, that, I was starting as a kid as an entertainer, and I didn't realize it. And as I grew up as a teenager, I'd go to swap meets and I'd help this guy sell fucking hats for weed. <laughs> this was a teenager, and I'd do these like goofy things like to entertain people to sell the hats and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I always entertained, even like with my homies. Hey, my kids say they like you. What up, wait, <laughs> let's, oh, wait, hold on, hold her, hold her there. <laughs> he said, what up, wait? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Like, six years old? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, they're Mexican, yeah. What's up, wait? Earmuffs, kids, earmuffs. <laughs> Uncle Buggy's gonna say a lot of shit like, cock, fuck, tit, bitch, fuck, motherfucker. Hey, Jill's probably smiling right Not now. Jill's probably He's like, hell yeah. Well, that's how I'm going to He's about to send some stars. I got a homie. I'll sit this one out, man. My, my business partner, no, do is go he's a white bucket. guy, and we always have this, like, he'll sit there and he goes, I gotta ask you, is this a fucking Mexican thing, or is this a you thing? Because I feel, like, I feel like that's not right. 
And I was like, I don't know. Like, we're talking about anxiety. <laughs> we're talking about anxieties and allergies. He's like, I got an allergy. I was like, I didn't know allergies were real until five, six years ago or anxiety. Because in my my family, you, I, 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 someone, I said, what is an allergy? And my fucking uncles just started laughing. They're like, that's what white people made up. <laughs> and I just believed them. I was like, oh, I guess so. Fuck. All right. Well, they're wrong for that one. Well, well <laughs> let me tell you, there's a lot of wrong in my family. We could be here all day. <laughs> hey, look, what, what got you into the uh, entertainment in so, the first place? And what age? So, like I said, uh, I've been an entertainer as long as I can remember. Whether it was uh, trying to sell avocados and becoming a character. So, juggling. Yeah, you know, bullshit things. <laughs> but I, I, I really went deep, deep into it when I did... When I, I did, so I did 10 years in the Army, got out of the Army, and I didn't know I was going through a depression. I didn't know that. Not to get too deep on you guys, but I, I more or less went a long time wanting to end my story of me. And I would get my emotions out by putting makeup on. I would, I would like, I'd put fear, sadness, and, and I'd go to different places, and I'd just kind of like, I don't know what fucking got me into doing it, to be honest. But I just did. Like, it, when I was feeling sad, I'd put fucking goth makeup on. When I was angry, I'd put evil makeup on. If I was having a good day, or I was just fucking high, I'd put fucking <laughs> clown makeup on. And I'd do this demented, dark humor or what I was doing downtown, Fullerton. And it kind of caught fire. Uh, as I was doing this more and more in L.A., I went to, like, a fashion week. And they have paparazzi. It's nothing new. And all these people in these expensive dresses where one day I'm sitting there pouring blood on myself. I had a kiddie pool full of blood. And I was sitting in the kiddie pool playing with the blood. And all these photographers were like, taking pictures. I was like, well, I'm an entertainer. I know what to do with this. Yeah. So I showed up again. I did whatever. I did a different thing. I had a different mask. And I noticed on social media at the time, this is going a little further back, Whatever you wrote on social, people believed. So if you oh, they still do, <laughs> you, right? So I, I, told, I know a guy. I, I, I told <laughs> someone. I said, "What well, if they're going to believe everything I say on social media? I'm going to become the character of social media, and I'm going to give them a fucking story. Give them a show, and I'm going, I'm going to control their imagination and their time, and I'm going to hold you hostage mm. for my entertainment for an illusion of time. And I did that, and I became the boogeyman. Like if you go to my Instagram." You don't see no pictures of fucking food or I'm on vacation. <laughs> These are my toes. I, I don't. I, I just it's just me and it's telling the story. Hey, it's Josh. And even like with my pictures, there's there's not always captions or it's just the photographer, the makeup artist, and hashtag. I got it. Because I want you to develop your story from what you see from me. Correct. They said they say what are what? some perks of being an entertainer? Well, what, what's your Instagram first? Uh, I know your Instagram. Yeah, it's. D student Joey, that's my Instagram. Uh, and let me tell you guys, whatever you do on the Instagram with me, it's always it's always the character. So you can't be like, you know, <laughs> how's your day? I'll just respond how my character would respond. If you're a hot chick, I'd be like, so it's for you e entertainment purposes only. Well, say. for money, yeah, money, yeah. entertainment, art. It, it's it's a whole gumball, you know. Yeah. I'm just I was even thinking about that. I was talking to my business partner recently. I said. I'm starting to figure out the little nuances and stuff. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead with the question. Like well, I said, said, you mentioned say, well, Instagram, what's a, so. What's the perk of being an entertainer? I would say freedom. You can do whatever the fuck you want as far as time-wise. If I want to tattoo my face, I'll tattoo my face. They said, why is the mom talking? Why is the mom talking? No, mime. The mime. Mom. Oh, mime? Yeah, they're cracking yes. jokes on your ass now. Oh, fuck. They're right, about right, to start roasting your name ass. Of Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, roasting your ass, buddy. That's a hey. keys. Let him paint your face on here. <laughs> that's bloody easy. How did you know this? Or next, oh, watch the next person easy, will call bro. you Gene Simmons. Hey, just I, wait for it, no, buddy. I, I'm, the next one's will call you Beetlejuice, probably. Yeah, just so wait for I, it. I, I am 100% behind. Listen up. Are you, you watching? Like yeah. So I love the fans and I love the haters. Do you know why? Tell them, let long them have as, it. As long as you're watching. You're here to be entertained and you're here to watch, and that's what I want you to do. Keep watching. <laughs> yeah. Just keep watching. Yeah, keep, keep watching. This one is going low. So. Uh, bring the ratings, bring the likes, oh, bring here. the hate, all that stuff. Because yeah, around. I, I like yeah, that shit. I just brought up on like wrestling generation and they say Josh, why the long face? 
It, it, and, and I think you need all that shit. You need someone to hate you, and you need someone to love you if you want to be a character. I wouldn't want everyone to fucking like what I did. If everyone liked what I did, then I'd fucking be like, dude, I'm doing something wrong. You'd be born. Well, I'd be doing something <clears throat> wrong. I'm doing something wrong. If everyone likes you, something's wrong. You become the trend. You become whatever America loves, and I don't want that. I want to be the anti-social person. I like being a social media villain. You like, you like being different. Yeah, and I don't have to fucking... I don't have to pretend to like motherfuckers. I, I, I won't. I don't. Yeah. You like I, the reaction? I love reactions. But, so I had a conversation with one of my previous guys that collabed with. And I love the kid. But he would seek after everyone's approval all the time. And I tell him, I was like, I'm a wolf. I don't give a fuck what sheep think. I never will. And I never did. I said, I love you, but you're a sheep. They said the jacket is fresh though, and they oh, said they yeah. are entertained. So you're getting the most. You're getting the most interaction out of anybody. Yeah. yeah. Now you definitely are a character. I promise. I promise. Just pull up. Always be yourself. So I, I had a company. It's called D Student Productions. <laughs> you guys want to have fun? <clears throat> Look at the hashtag. Hashtag D Student Productions. Oh, you'll see all kinds of stuff. Let's see. If you wanted to get, oh, I'm not What's gonna give you that hashtag. <clears throat> D Student Productions. They'll go on forever. It's my company, or it was my company. It kind of still is. But when I started it, I didn't really, I wasn't thinking about money and business. I got out of the army. I was really lonely. I was sad. And I just wanted friends because I did 10 years with people who had honor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I went into the civilian world. And as a grown ass man in my 30s at the time, I couldn't be like, oh, you want to be friends? We can try to finger fuck pussy together. <laughs> uh, right. I'll get the ball rolling, you get the pussy. <laughs> He's the guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Touching hey. But but the point is, you, you couldn't, it's just not easy to make friends where I was. So I was like, I'm going to start a crew. I'm going to start a party crew. And I kind of like, I always want to entertain and produce things. So I did like shitty fucking videos on YouTube. Really stupid videos. It's like, ugh. The word cringe applies. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that, I don't know that if that's mine. Someone else, maybe it's a fan one. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of different shit. But, um. It looks like you guys, it's got, got some face paint. Yeah. Is that one of your people? That's, that's me. That's my business partner. Oh, uh, yeah. So these are your people, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just now? Yeah. Okay. So we had a you saying. I wearing the paint. Like, I, I was, <laughs> Yeah. So I, I always, I'd, I'd always tell people who ran with us. No one walks alone. Doesn't matter what it is. No one walks alone. And that was a rule I had within our crew. It was like, you don't have to agree with the motherfucker. Right. But don't leave him by himself. So, yeah. Here you go. Better for I ramble a little bit, I know. Nah, they no, that guy rambles. So you're doing great. Oh. They want to hear you. They want to hear your story. They like For sure, for sure. Any specific questions? And I don't uh, mind a roast, man. I, I like it. No, you they say, what is the story behind the name D-Student? Okay, so we're, we're kind of going to that rabbit hole. So, like I said, I got out of the Army. I started a company, and I was trying to think of a name for my company. <laughs> we are just talking about this the other day. Uh, I want to call it <laughs> fucking stupid ideas. I want to call it the Second Story Outhouse, like we shit on you. Mm. But, oh, I'm but, clever. That is. But then no, I, then, I don't agree now. But we didn't. We didn't and my, I got vetoed fast on that one. They're like, we don't want to be known by that. <laughs> so I'm like, well, what should we do? And I just remember... I said, we should, uh, we're should. we doing a production company, so we should do D-Student Productions. And they said, why D-Student? And I said, because when I was a fucking kid in junior high, I had a science teacher walked up to me and said, you're nothing more than a D-Student, and you're never going to be anything more than a D-Student in life. Nice. At, at the time, That's I should have been insulted, but at the time I was a little skater surfer kid, and I was like, Right on. That means I passed. Yeah. <laughs> like, Fuck yeah, man. Not <laughs> down your way saying I passed. Yeah, and I see what they were really. And I, I related. Like when I was a D student, like to me, a D student was a guy that just smoked a little weed, finger fucked little Cindy, did some surfing, <laughs> did some skateboarding, <laughs> ate some tacos. <laughs> you must have did a lot of finger yeah, fucking. Yeah. That's the second time you did I could drink some cheap beer, <laughs> pumped on the Snoop Dogg, and called it a day. I was a D student, you know? I wasn't out there. I was not Johnny, the fucking football captain. <laughs> I, I wasn't fucking David, the guy. I'm going to prom. I wasn't that guy. Or, I, or Chris, the wrestler. I wasn't like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Mom, well, a couple of those. I can't decide which college I'm going to. Fuck. <laughs> so always, do you consider yourself like an outcast? Like you kind of just always did your own thing no matter what? Yeah, outcast is a beautiful word for me. I embrace words like when they say shit like weirdo, freak. That, that's that's my love language. Yeah, it's, it so, it turns them on. Say thank you. Makes your nipples hard. No, yeah, like, like fuck it. That you, just inspires you, huh? Dude, I, I when I turned into this, it's funny because back in the day, uh, you know, I was just a just a little skater kid. <laughs> Once I turned into this whole boogeyman thing. You start getting girls out of nowhere, like, uh, fucking choke me, fucking <laughs> finger me, <laughs> the hell fucking me. pumpkin king. Yeah, hey, you wild. Or they'll tell me, they're like, tell me about the worst horror movie you watch. And I have to tell them the truth. I'm like, I like rom-coms. <laughs> I want to fall in love deep down. I don't mind being the small spoon. Let's <laughs> see. I like being a small spoon. Yeah, man, it's comforting. I, a little rub on the back, you know? That's, Makes you feel mm-hmm. like a piece. Yeah, Remember we were talking about that? Yeah, I had to hold you one time. He was crying. Oh, yeah. Was he? Yeah. It was. Hey, crying feels good, dude. I'm a crier. Yeah. People got to let it out. I got my goth tears out. You see that? No, nah, that's what I said. You look like Sting, like the wrestler. No. Uh, <laughs> they said the crow. Ah! The crow. They said the crow lives. The crow. Okay. I'm okay with the crow. The- I get Sting a lot, too. I do get yeah. that. Classic. I grew up on this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm old school. So, so yeah. what brought you to Texas? So I was knee deep in California, and I, it was they a dumpster shit show out there. Knee deep in shit. <sighs> that's that, that's an understatement, my friend. It's a dumpster <laughs> fire, and I there's so many things that you don't even understand that's going on there. And I got a job. I'm making my money, and I have my crew, but like everything's different at this point. Like, when, when I started off, we'd make carne asada, we'd fucking smoke a little weed, we'd fucking... Like good. Yeah, you that know? sounds good. But guess what? That all fucking changed, where, like, everyone's hating each other. I don't like you, you voted this way. I don't like you, you voted that way. And I'm like, who the fuck cares, man? Like, not, I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, they don't give a fuck about you. Yep. They yeah. don't give a fuck about you. So why do you give that much fuck about them? Yeah, they don't give a fuck about Like, them. when I grew up, like, I idolized people like Snoop Dogg. These motherfuckers are beating off to, like, Biden and Trump. Like, oh, I'm oh, a fucking man, that loose. sounds like my uncle Leo. Oh, 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 I'm a Republican. Man, uh, yeah, I'm going to show him this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you fucking <laughs> too, man. But yeah, yeah, dude, like, and I'll have people, like, walk out to That was crazy. But, dude, they'll have, like, combos, like, serious conversation. Like, but what, what do you think about? them taking jobs in the border to push <laughs> your head. <laughs> jobs. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, look, it's in the name. I'm a D student. I did not study. If you're asking me to make your decision on politics, you're in trouble. And, and, and here's the thing, dude. They don't want your opinion. They just want you to either dumb you up and agree with them or they want a good fight. One of the two. Look, these people got questions. They said, really, though, what is your favorite horror movie? Okay, let me think of it. Exorcist. Gun to the head. Oh, Exorcist. man, that's my favorite one. Exorcist. But I got much love for Freddy Krueger. The <laughs> hell street everywhere. Yeah, see that one too. Hellraiser. You seem like a hellraiser. They said, will you chug a beer? <laughs> will I chug a beer? Yeah. Uh, well, if you met me fucking... <laughs> if you met me 19 years ago, I'd do heroin with you. <laughs> but no, I'm well, not going to chug a beer. I'm going to have some water. needles out. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get CC on this. Hey, CC. Let's yeah. yeah. keep it safe. Man, that's, wild. that's wild, but no, know, I don't do anything anymore. No, nah, you probably just lived your life how you wanted to do, had to experience everything once. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've I've done a lot of wild stuff, and there's a lot of stuff I did because of I was going through a depression, but there's also because acid's fun. <laughs> I don't think it is. Oh, you don't like acid? That's Y'all done do. acid? Yeah, no, I'm I'm do, I do too done much. Acid. Yeah. I liked acid. Acid was my friend. I've done shrooms. That was good. Enough. Changed my life. Yeah. You know what? Shrooms. I became a better too. businessman after that. Dude, I lived. For changed me for the better. For five and a half years, I lived three hours away from Amsterdam. For five and a half years, I yeah. went to Amsterdam so many times they Bro. wanted to hire me. Did you know what they say? This. It's, she, it's good. Amsterdam's Amsterdam awesome. What they say? This. It's everything. Everything. Ed. It's, it's, the it's, weed, the whores. What about the prostitutes? Oh, yeah, when they put them in the window? One to ten. Yeah. One to ten. Well, I, I prefer the, the whores in Germany if I have to, you know. Okay. Like that's honest. I like that. 
Yeah, What's the I, difference? So, well, at the time, the dollar to Deutschmark, it was like mm. $20 to get a hooker. And, I mean, I was young and dumb and full of cum. I'd be like, I got $300. <laughs> I only got one dick. I only got one dick. But let's get as many holes as we can get. <laughs> Look, they said, what's your favorite rock singer? Oh, uh, ooh. I, I'm all over the world on fucking music, dude. It's not just rock. Like, so I'm listening. I'll tell you who I'm listening to a lot lately. Uh, I can't I can't think of a song, but it's like, is it something Peso or Peso? Peso, Peso, Peso. Pluma? Yeah, I like that guy. I like Yellow Wolf. Uh, I put off with the, the Raza, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, regional. I've been, regional I've been, I listen to a lot of Beatles, a lot of Pink Floyd, La Sinatra. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Chente, a lot of Vicente Fernandez lately. Uh, what does I listen to as far as rock lately? Yeah, I, I listen to Metallica, but that's like generic answer, right? So what's yeah, but that, that's played on radio. They like said Tupac or Big. Tupac. Don't have to think about that one. Look who fucking rolling with Diddy. You should say Big idiot. Papa. You should say idiot. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You you like the Diddy? Is that what it is? What we know now, right? <laughs> it's like that guy. I think he does that to people. <laughs> I think he tries to catch him in the studio. So what? He said, great answer, by the way. Oh, thank you. But what's the car ride like with you? Oh, uh, is it? Well, we used to shoot to Vegas all the time from California. Uh, we'd go to Vegas like four like to five, five times. Five guys, five girls. Oh, no, no. I, I'm gonna, <laughs> I should give you this hashtag. I'll give you this hashtag later. So these gym productions, as we kind of grew momentum, we ended up throwing parties and we'd take the parties down to Vegas. So we would start off at a nightclub in Hollywood or Orange County. We'd end it, and then we'd go straight to Vegas. And it was a little bit of an upsell. <laughs> and we'd get the hotel rooms, and we uh, we did a lot of naughty stuff. But So the car ride up would mm. be me, my best friend Aaron, who's also my business partner. Uh, we might have one or two hot chicks there. And we might have like a stringer. A stringer's like, how the fuck did you end up in a car? I guess you jumped in. Oh, you know, that's, that, that, that's just a stringer. And, and then we'll probably have like a, I, I command the music. I don't, no one's allowed to touch the music. Well, that's why I say you never touch the man's music in his car. But you and play more than three not songs? Not even if it's a rental. What's that? You play more than three songs though? Cause oh, it's going nonstop. Yeah, this guy will play three songs for about two months straight. So, but, Well, uh, we have, you don't know, hey. listen to anything from Slayer to Sinatra <laughs> to fucking <laughs> Vicente Fernandez to the Beatles. It's all rolling. So, and, and you got me singing and screaming and fucking air drumming on the fucking dashboard. Yeah, yeah, see, you are you got a good vibe. See, I could go out of town with a guy like you. You, you don't say, got a bitchy mood. You say mood. that now. You don't have a bitchy mood. You seem like a fun guy all the time. Yeah. They're, they're you say some, that now. They're, they're <laughs> drawbacks, <laughs> man. Suck his dick by the way, You know, there, there's, there's moments where you just want to say, Boogie Man, shut the fuck up. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> man, I say that That's sometimes. That's what I'm saying tonight. Yeah, I do. He's like, Boogie Man. Yeah, man, you should have seen up. him. That guy was pulling his hair. In his sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's right. having a bad dream about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that night. Right, bro. In Fort Worth. Yeah, on these two. Yeah. That's what seen to do. That's all right. I got I have, it. I have a shitty sleep schedule, man. I just... Man. So, what's the, what's the craziest you've seen at, a, yeah, yeah. say, a celebrity party or... I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a funny story. So, we got invited to AVN. I got that. That stands for adult, adult video. Oh, man. Something. Adult video. AVN. It's adult video network. Show. It, it, it's Adult Video Network, something like that. It's so Adult Video Awards, probably. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And we got the all access, which meant we got to go to these parties, and they're fuck parties, basically. So, <laughs> I, I, dude, I'm rolling into this party. There's Ron Jeremy, dude. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to show you the receipts. But anyways, so fucking. <laughs> so we go there, and I brought my business partner. He's going to kill me for this story. So we're in there, and there's all kinds of crazy kink shit, like, there's this guy with a cowboy hat. And oh, this one right there. And, well, and he's a, he's an old dude, and he's got this chick. I don't know if he's got her on a leash or, or a belt. I don't know, but he's, he's holding her by something, and he's whipping her with a fucking belt, doing all these derogatory terms at her and shit, and fucking just screaming like cowboy style, and he's banging her. And there's another guy who's, I guess he his thing is finger banging, so he's finger banging. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been that you. Was, that was you. It, 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 he said, what's 
He said, who wants him? You see him looking at the feet before he said it. I, I, said, I, I, said, I, I got them stories. I got them stories, but that wasn't that day. <laughs> well, so, watch me explain them things. So, <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got a whip. <laughs> but, so, so, <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> so, so, I got knuckles in my eye. <laughs> this is like, can I, can I smell? So uh, fucking, you got the camera So anyway, so this dude, fucking my my homie, he's my business partner. He goes over, and I think he's trying to get a bait on. Which I mean, it's no Good old bait. I mean, you're <laughs> no bait you're, on the bait and switch. And all, all things considered, you're at a fuck party, so you, you got to kind of bait to get ready to get in it. You know what I mean? Understand. And, and, and so he, I think he's getting his little bait into tagging or something, and he leans against like these glass shelves. He fucking collapsed all the glass Damn. shelves with all the glass shots, all the glass glasses, the dildos. and it's <laughs> crashing on the ground, and then everything stops. People, oh, people dry. Mid, like mid, everybody's like mid, like fuck, like, <laughs> mid <laughs> pump. They're like, and <laughs> this said, get the fuck <laughs> out. And then, party's then, over. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse. And then you hear these words: lights go on. I hate to do this, guys, but there's glass on the ground, and a lot of us are naked and barefoot. We're <laughs> going to have to clean this up. We had to conduct a clean party to get the glass up at a fuck party. And you got dudes of Viagra's boners, like, walking by. Hey, bumping into each other and shit. <laughs> and Literally like, playing swords. Like, sorry, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to sweep. Man, it happened to me. I was passing by yeah. him on a Viagra. It's the same thing. <laughs> it, it, is, it is nuts, man. But, I mean, I, I tease my friend all the time about that. That's, I teased him too about funny. that. I said, man, I, did, I said, I didn't mean to do down. that. I said, I but that guy, really work. I bet that guy was never invited to an orgy party. <laughs> Were they fun? Oh, yeah, they're, they're definitely fun. <laughs> I mean, you're surrounded by a bunch of people fucking want to fuck. I mean, it's good, right? So you ever been to a swinger club? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was at a fuck party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's like Bud Light to Bud Weiser. I used to go to porn parties. It, I, I, and a lot of it is because I get invited. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't... I've been to every party you can think of. Now, it's like I always say, just because you get invited to the party, that doesn't mean you're eating the carnita, okay? <laughs> you may come to the party, but that doesn't mean you're eating the carnita. Maybe you're having pollo. Maybe you're having fucking monudo. You may not want the carnita. You may not want to because you may think, that was prepared by Diddy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, look, they said, if you he know Vegas, serious question, <laughs> first I'm going to Vegas, Vegas, best hotel to stay in. Oh, okay. So, so I like to gamble sometimes. So I like to shoot craps at Bally's and Harris for for shooting and, and betting. Okay, for staying, if you got a little bit of coin, maybe, and you got kids with you, uh, Caesars is good if you have money. Okay. Yeah, I seen kids playing craps with their parents there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was well, drunk as hell, and I was walking through all the casinos playing craps. And if you seen it, it, right? yeah, I thought I was tripping, but there was a couple bunch of kids, like teenagers, with their parents. They're like, go ahead, throw them. Let's say that you want to be in the middle of everything. You just want to be in the middle of the mix. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have two spots. You can either hit Harris or you can hit New York, New York. Because New York's right in the middle, and there's a giant-ass bridge that takes you across mm-hmm. to the other side. So that's those are the two bets I'd go on. Joshua would love that. He would love the roller coaster. Yeah. But if you want some fine looking white bitches, go to Cosmo. Yeah, I've been to the Cosmo uh, Palace. They got little hot dollar tables. Uh, I think the, the Venetian. Paris is where all the old people are at, I feel like. Yeah. Bro. I'll say yeah, that's where I'll I went, at the Venetian a lot. Old cougar way, ladies, oh, money. The, just oh, yeah. Relax, no loud sure, ass mamas. people. Oh, man. Their pussy must look like dried out pastrami. <laughs> Think so? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like a rumen sandwich. <laughs> oh, I like those sandwiches. A little sweet. bit of mustard on it. No. Where's no. Jay Money at? Tell him hit that AC. Jay Money, hit the AC, right. homie. You making my diabetes go? Ugh. Right. Yeah, on, he's gonna have a go two to one. Come on, Jay Money. <laughs> I was about to get it. So you like playing craps? What's the most you've ever gambled? Say in one row. Uh, so I start off with twenties and either go or lose. But the most I won, it wasn't like a flex. I, I think I got a little over three thousand, and I was really stupid when I got three thousand. Sex party money. Well, dude, that's nothing. In Vegas, three thousand is like chump yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was playing yeah. next to rich guys. Like they were drunk as shit. You weren't going yeah. to parties like just him. black chips and just like ah, they're like slapping people on the back and but stuff. Did you finger them? No, no fingering. No, they would, they would get pissed. <laughs> I don't got that kind of money. Hey, like I tried to get the fuck out of us. I said they give you free drinks. Yeah, thought about it. They're not. You know what? They're not on top of the game of the drinks like they used to. Oh yeah. 
they're and, not. And they're, they're a little not. watered down. It's there's something going on. I just with get them. beer. What do you mean? Like they're not giving y'all food shots? Or well, what? well, okay. So I'm an old cat. Okay. So when I went to Vegas a long time ago, as as a fucking young teen acting like he was 18, they fucking would bring like real like, booze. Damn. Dude, damn, dude, they damn. had people out front with fucking popcorn, whatever you wanted, they would give you. You want movie tickets here? Boom. They wanted you to come in. Now they're fucking sh- take it. <laughs> well, they don't even have the option anymore. Yeah. And they take they, they take their time walking with that liquor. Now. Yeah, see, the, I, mm-hmm. I started walking off from the table, and they were like, "Hey, hey, where are you going?" I said, "Man, I ordered my beer a long time ago." They said, "Hold on," they said, "Get him a beer, hurry." Up. And then yeah. I was like, "All right, all right, y'all made it better." I said, "Bam, bam." <laughs> I think <laughs> Vegas is best during pool party season. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I stayed at a the fuck was it the Flamingo and somewhere else. They had they have a badass pool party. They have a package sometimes mm-hmm. where you can see some like big name DJs and stuff. That's yeah, you had that uh, Polly D with her fucking Jersey Shores there. Well, I don't know if that's a big name. Yeah, DJ, he's like, but okay. I guess he is now, right? Say, yeah, now he is. He, yeah. He's like, a, he got some residency there. Yeah, I guess so. So, so did, speaking of Polly D, did you run into any like famous people at these sex parties? Or I did. Besides uh, like, run, like like movie stars, rappers, uh, artists? Besides uh, P. Diddy, of course. So, yeah, you know, I, I bet uh, you he's a freak. I'll tell you who, I, who <laughs> I've seen there. And then, well, I mean, I mean, they got boners like any other dude. They're not going to talk to you. They're like, hey, right, that is... Beat Your it, buddy. ain't better than mine. But I, I met, uh, who's the guy on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Carlton. I met that guy. Hell I, yeah. Was he doing the dance? I asked him to do it, and he told me uh, to fuck off. Oh, man. Uh, he probably gets tired of it, though. No, he was looking at these girls fuck, so, I mean. He would have hit that hard and we got him wet. I don't know, man. I wasn't part of his agenda. He didn't want to hang out. True, true, But I saw RVD. <laughs> right there, there. I'm a fucking nerd for wrestling, so I'm like... All these people are like, that makes sense. Dude, they're, they're, they're tripping on these girls fucking, and I'm like, it's RVD! Oh like, my God. What was that? The, was it the Swan Time? No. What was that movie he did? Uh, Frog Splash. Five Star Frog Splash. Yeah, Five Star Frog Splash. Right, we had good wrestling back in the day. Yeah, it's getting better, better than you, but. Yeah, it's coming back uh, again. It's getting a lot better. That's what now. I heard Triple H and The Rock. Dude, it was the good, Rock. man. The Taker Rock came in. in. They're doing that where it's not scripted no more. I don't know. Oh, they so they're scripted. trying to take it back to the attitude. It was there. cool though. It was definitely cool for watching, sure. Watching it, fuck it. But like fucking, I was. Everyone's like geeking out of these hot chicks getting naked, and, and they don't know about Lita and them. Yeah, but I'm just like excited to see RVD. I'm like, fuck, man, what's up, dude? And he's like, uh, can we talk another time? I'm in the middle of something. So I'm, I'm about to star flash. And I was like, all right, man, you're gonna frog splasher. I get it. Like it's his like. Nice. Give it all bang bang. Oh, he's <laughs> he's 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 knee deep into porn, dude. His wife's like think a porn star, I think. I don't yeah, remember. They're, they're Who? Probably live like rock stars, huh? Oof. I imagine that you see the Hardy Boys in them there. No, I didn't. Although uh, I, I'll tell you one time, I was really, really, really fucking high, and I was rolling with all my friends. High on what? I, I, I think I was rolling. I think I was rolling. I oh remember. lord! But I and saw this. Man. I saw this dude right, and I go. Fucking Jeff Hardy! I ran over, I fucking hug him and stuff, and I look over, and he's like, looking at me like, and I'm like, so oh. was it him though? No, it was not him. Fuck. It was some. So I was like, well, I thought you were staying, and I'm like, staying. I, I thought it was for Fuck. a second, but I was just rolling, so I was like, ah, chalk it up to drugs. <laughs> at least it probably made it funny later on, like a story. You probably got maybe for my friends, story. not for me. I was, I was, a, I don't get embarrassed too often. And his wife have a girlfriend. Good. God How the bless fuck do they know that? See? Well, they're a thruple. Well, who said that? Don't worry about that. Just mind your business. Fact, I'll let you know what he I'm said. I'm deleting him off our shit. We don't need people like that. I'm sure if you look on the comments. You're going to lose access. It. I'm going to have to ban him. So you can't give him no kind of power. <laughs> hey, put that finger he, in his nose. Yeah, man. Put that finger over there in his nose. Have you guys done any, 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 any gang bangs or anything in your lifetime? A whole bunch of guys. Millions. I've been to a sausage party. <laughs> a lot of them. Uh, yeah, I've been to a sausage party. Like I said, I've been to a sausage party. Gang bangs, I've been to a sausage party. Gang bangs, gang bangs. That was so it. <laughs> I, I seen them at a crazy one. Like with <laughs> they had a dog in the middle J- of it. Jay Money loves a twelfth man. Nah, no, no, you like to come out? Y'all go. I miss the era where fucking that, Carlos. The like, one with the but dog. she was good. I miss that era. Just rubbing the dog. I, I had a three. Why was the dog times, there? But. Nice, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was stop though. I eat it. Everything is everything's fucking everything's like changed. Like they talk about the council culture and all that shit. It's overhyped. It's overhyped. So right. said, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. I don't do it because I don't want a heart attack or a stroke. That's why I don't do it. I go to the good old dependable pussy. Have you ever they said, but I heard a good quote one time. They said, you don't have to get all the pussy, but you can get a lot of pussy from the same place. 
That's a good quote. I had the same house. Yep, that's what they said. <laughs> a lot of pussy from the same place. Don't have to get all the pussy. Just fire, I guess find you a good one. <laughs> Just like the have you ever, have receiver. You ever been don't tell the like, Is there anything yeah. out there you ever love? Hey, man. You don't believe hey. it? Hey, what's up? Masking up. Oh, masking. Uh, so, like, how do you view relationships? Have you ever been married or, like, is there a girl out there you ever loved that you just so caught up it's, in no, no, parties? You're, you're, you're good. So, oh, Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll cover this. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, so sure. I, I talked to him. He, he wasn't there for the combo. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm forgiving him. You. The one thing so I don't know. Do, yeah, let, oh, here. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. The, the one tell thing I, 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 I Chill, dog fucker. So, <laughs> not playing, bro. So, not playing. So, the one thing I don't do is I don't talk about anything family, whether it's kid, wife, or mother. That's why they don't, don't do. play about his family. Well, and there's a reason so why. Don't ask because what, what, I'm, <laughs> he's not the voice. what I'm doing the damn he's thing. Go no, he's no on one dope. wants. He's on like, dope. I, 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 I can't talk about gang bangs and think about my mom or no, my kids. Sure. Yeah, like, though, like, yeah we just asked him about gang bangs. Like, oh, so what about your wife? No, I mean, it's no, a hard no, transition. No, that's, what made me, that's what made me transition to do. It's no deal. But, I, I mean, I have, I always have like. You seem like you lived a wild ass lifestyle. There was no special woman in your life. Oh, there's special women. Women. Yeah, women. Let me ask you. Let me, let me answer this question a better way. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You're going to all you can eat buffet. Are you only going to eat the fucking shrimp? He probably would. No, he's a idiot. Stop going there with a grandpa. This is what you do. Everything. I used to love grandpa. Whoa, whoa, chill. That guy, he probably goes against a lot of chicken tenders. Is that tenders. Gene Simmons? Yeah. yeah. I Is seen that? Kiss in Pittsburgh. That was pretty live with poison. It's I call it the choncha lengua. <laughs> choncha oh, lengua. That's a good man. one. Choncha so, lengua. So you're one of us? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Nah, he said, what do you mean, you people? Are you paying for the first dance at Maximus or what? <laughs> well, let me ask I'm you a bar from there. Let me ask you a real question. What's better, bombshells or Maximus? Man, bomb bombshells if you want to get ratchet. They are different. I fuck with my boy Dave. You, you got to go see I don't, Dave. I don't know about ratchet. I'm not a ratchet kind of guy. No, look, no. I don't like You the, ever been to the place? I, I don't, wanna, I, I don't <laughs> want to be at the uh, place. They're like, hey, hey, get off of them. No touch them. And the DJ's yelling on the microphone like, man, come on, man, shit. She uh, got on me, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing about Ma- Maximus. So, it, it, to, to me, I look at Maximus. Maximus is your... Your old school, they're they're still yeah. they're still yeah. in the, making their way to the stage. Yes, they're they're they're, they're behind. They're, they're gonna come out to a rock song and swing around the ball like that. Yeah. Right. You, you, yeah. you go to bomb shows, you hear this. Nah, boom, boom, boom. boom. No, you yeah, 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 so bomb shows like boom. the hood. Nah, bo- yeah. bomb shows. You, you gonna feel like you in Memphis? If you wanna go chill, just chill by the music, <laughs> by to the. If you wanna hear songs like "Rip Me Out the Plastic," I've been acting brand new with bitches twerking bomb shows. My boy Dave Brooks. Let me tell you why I like fucking... Matter of fact, they have a special tonight. This is, this is what I like about drug addicts, hookers, and strippers. You know what I like about these people? They'll never cancel culture you. Never. Hell no. no Those are the greatest happen. people that there are. You're right. They'll keep it real. Facts. They keep it real. Nice ladies. Yeah. And honest. Up front, straight up. Do you want That's to what I like. Out? I hate liars. Oh, God. I hate Definitely. liars. That's Definitely. It. That's why so I, I think you guys need to take off your sunglasses because I feel like y'all are lying to me. No, I, man. I'm <laughs> I might. <laughs> Depends on the reason. Yeah. Right, if I, well, gonna, I, I, if I have a good reason to lie, I'll lie. Reason, it's crazy. You got a face we're going to eye fuck you. That. That'd but, be the only reason I'm taking my glasses off for you. And you sit there and you be quiet. <laughs> if, I, if I had a good reason to lie, I'd lie. Yeah. <laughs> it, it depends <laughs> on the situation. I'm Diego. <laughs> I mean, we all... Uh, let me give you an example. Cop pulls you over. Have you been drinking tonight? Fucking lie, put the glasses on. <laughs> Fucking lie, put the glasses on. I don't on. think that really works good in Wichita. No? Oh, yeah. Well, if, that, if you got away with it, hey, I suggest... Hey, they said he's a sexy red kind of guy. I can sense it. A sexy... They're, t- they're talking about him. They're Look, talking about him, definitely. I like that rapper, the female one. <laughs> yeah. See, I, the guests I always yeah. are cool, bro, chill. I like sexy red. They said give him they a juice always... box and let him be quiet. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments, man. You so ever watch X-Men? Yeah, yeah. You know I what? Got, I got your back. I you know what I like, man? Not the guest you, like you. You, you take the comments with grace no matter what they are, and this guy can't take them. Oh, Can you teach him something? To, what, what advice do you have what, for what, him? Where did about I take the, for grace what, when I just was listening to About it. comments and, and, and what advice can so, you give him? So, there's a couple you things I do. Teach him how to be a man. Let him finish, man. He's giving you advice. So, I do a couple things. One, I, I, I post and ghost. Okay. Where, whatever I post on my own stuff. I don't always look at the comments because there's it's always a man teaching, please. So I just post and ghost 
Uh, and that's what I do for my little entertainment art. And as far as like when I do this stuff and I get comments, they're tuning in. They're I got they're spending their time. They're giving up whatever they want to do to listen and watch me. So guess what? I'm tap dancing for them. If they want me to fucking tap dance, Johnny's going to put his shoes on. You know, Johnny Ordinary. Yeah, he said, yeah. "Fucking knew it about the sexy red things too." <laughs> but so you don't get angry at all. No, man, doesn't bother you. I pick and choose my battles. That's. Right. Yeah, that it, sounds like a smart thing. And, 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 and to be fair, yeah, comment, no offense, guys. I just don't give a fuck what you think. Yeah. Right Christmas time. And you should. And, yeah. And, and, and that, that's just that's just me. Like, and, and there's 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 levels and degrees. Like, but I don't as a whole. Right. I don't give a fuck like what they think. Like, and threats. Yes. Like, but when my mom fucking goes, you know, mijo, I don't know about this. You're you're no cantiflas, mijo. I don't know about this. <laughs> And I'm like, mom, fucking, I own my own goddamn house. I got property in Joshua Tweet. I'm fucking sending you money, mom. I still don't know, man. Hey, you so should work on cars. <laughs> your first generation? Uh, no, I am technically three generations of Mexicans, technically. I, but I'm the That's worst mix, though. dude. I'm fucking half white, half Mexican. You're never Mexican enough, but you're never white enough. Yeah. Welcome, you're to my world. Welcome to my world. Yeah, are you half? No. <laughs> oh. He when he goes to sleep at night and his dreams. <laughs> 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 about to say something like, "We watch our podcast from the beginning." Shoot, nothing is changed. Shoot, but I mean, he's a good guy. Up. I don't. I, I give him that. He's a good guy. Nah, I love him. That's my brother, man. You guys are all pretty solid, actually. <laughs> nah, I mean, we're a good duo. Everybody said we got good. Have you guys interviewed strippers yet in here? Man, they wanted to come, but this guy keeps blowing them off. Man, I didn't blow nobody nah, off. Look, I'm just kidding. Look, 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 but on air, make me a promise. The first interview you have with a stripper, let me be in that bitch. Let me Man, be in the you cut. You got his come. contact info on mine. You got the... So we even got the phone. Huh? Yeah, you can uh, call the office. Like, I'll answer. Saying? I'll say hello. Oh, yeah, call us a dog. Hey, look. Yeah, I got you. I'll go like this. I'll be asleep. Wake up. I'll be like... <laughs> can I get an order of a blonde with chlamydia, please? All right, thank you. No, yeah, I've been wondering if the strippers in here. Hey, I, I want to know, though, man. I, I like uh, stories from everybody. So like everybody has crazy stories. Yeah, so any strippers out there listening, watching... I love. I have. I have a tattoo of a stripper on my arm. Yes. Which one? Uh, well, no, not of a. Well, I got more <laughs> than one. I, I got more than one story about name. tattoos. And I said it's a sex thing. I can't show it. So I got one. It's when I was younger. And you got them tattoos. He jacks up like in jail. And when they get the, like, <laughs> ladies on them. Well, I got. I got. I got a lot of shitty tattoos. That's for sure. <laughs> a lot of tattoos. Where I'm like, man, I didn't give a lot of thought or a lot of money to that. All right, you could have been drunk. And they probably have memories. Yeah, well, they like, all have like, memories. I got that when I was on fucked up. Yeah, I, they, they've all got they've all got some type of story memory. I remember I always remember I was maybe about 12, 13. I was on my little I think I was on the biker skateboard, but I was by Taco Bell and there's a tattoo parlor called Classic Tattoo, and I saw this fucking fine looking chick. She's got this small shorts. She's on this Harley, and I'm like fucking a yeah. man, boners popping out hard, fucking popping. And then this old guy comes out. I'm like, who's this guy? And he's I could smell like, him from here. Does he fuck too? <laughs> <laughs> he gets on the bike, right? And she's like behind him, like all rubbing up on him. He looks at me. He, he gave me the best advice I ever heard. He goes, "This is if you if you do all this, you get that." And what he said is, <laughs> he basically said, "Pick your lifestyle. Whatever your lifestyle is, it's going to send you roses every time." And that's my advice to people out there. Whatever your lifestyle is, if you want to be a comedian, you want to be a podcast, you want to be a singer. I don't care if you want to be a plumber. Whatever you want to do, fucking love it and give passion. Because when I first started doing this, I can't tell you times I literally cried and went to sleep. I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm broke. My car's getting repo. My light's being turned off. I'm eating fucking baloney. And I'd, I'd be yelling at God, like, fuck, dude, do you hate me? And then it wasn't until later on where everything just kind of evened out. Jobs came. Bigger jobs came. Sponsors came. Bigger contracts came. Bigger appearances came. But it's once I gave myself 100% into it, I didn't half ass it, everything changed. That's good advice right there. Everything changed. You, th- you whole assed it. Yeah, you can't, you can't just be like, I'm kind of halfway in. You have to be like, dude, I'm, I'm all in. I don't care Pull if I the die trying. Hey, yo! Yeah, uh, that's, why, that's why I believe they just do it all the way. So if not, it's never going to happen. If you see all the interviews with all these people you idolize, watch, or whatever, yeah. they say the same thing. If you go all in, it's going to give back. But you have to be patient. It does, it's not on your time. It's on the universe or God's time. God's time. Yeah, it's, God's time. It, it's not going to be overnight. And they even say, like, 
Uh, what what is it? It's a blink of God's eye. A blink of God's okay. eye. No, the clock. I was looking at the clock. You know, never mind. Yeah. Sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm a Jesus kind of guy, shockingly. Oh, I was. I wanted to be a pastor when I was like 16. So how do you feel about religion now? Like that, I think that for people that might think like he's not a Christian or think like the way you appear might be satanic. So I'm going to I'm going to answer that actually. Bunch of cowards. So I believe in God, not really into religion, and my relationship between me and God. I don't he's care. one of you. I don't. What? I don't care what they think. I don't oh, care. Yeah, he, he's mentioned that. I don't care what anyone Did thinks you do about my my grab relationship. Twenty four inch spot on. And, and, and he gripped on it. And, and this is the thing about Jesus. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves me like this. Amen. Jesus brother. loves me without I mean, this. If you were in heaven, would you be finger banging? If see, that's my that's God. I feel like see, now that's, they let that's you be. Line right there. They well, let you be. Not at all. I mean, me personally, I'd like to think not there's pussy in heaven, but yeah. I, I, I'm that's sure it's honest. evolved. I mean, yeah, I they don't want, want you to be sad up there. I mean, it's. <laughs> you're not, so right, I could get deep on this. So if you think about it, this is a shell. Mm -hmm. Your soul is inside of a shell. And your boners, they're all controlled by the shell, not by your soul. So once your energy leaves your body, See once it. it leaves the shell, it's like it's not going to worry about all this like worldly stuff. Oh, of, we won't feel like the Yeah, that's what I was no, thinking about the other day. No. I was like, when death, I was like, your brain has a, a, like electric activ like activity in there. Like, where does it go? It got to go somewhere. And happiness isn't so much a physical form. Like for me, happiness is random little things. I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm breaking my rules again. So there's a time my mom was going to die. I thought she was going to die. There's a lot going on with her health. And I just remember praying, just let her get through this, whatever. And my happiness was just being next to my mom. And she wasn't able to move and do a lot, but that was my happiness to be next to her. As she got better, things got better. But... No matter whatever it is, my, when my son was born, that was another level of happiness. I didn't, I didn't give a fuck about anything else. You could have told me my house was burning down. The first time I saw my kid laugh because of entertaining him was my happiness, and it goes vice versa too. Like all, all the pain and all the all your emotions, it's all within you. It's because I think they say you Someone's live, outside. you you live in your id, which is your frontal lobe. That's why when they did like all the fucking lobotomies, they yep, kill yep. this. Because you live in your frontal lobe. Yeah, they say it doesn't fully form until you're about 25. Well, I mean, I'm saying your personality lives in your frontal lobe. That's your personality. So if you ever did damage to your frontal lobe, that, that's your personality. It's gone. It's gone. Mm. And that's why it's good not to Yeah, the brain's stuff. really weird, dude. Because, like, like, your vision is behind your brain. That's why when yeah. you hit your head backwards, if you ever notice the medics will flash a light in your eyes mm. to see if your eyes dilate, it's from people who hit their head in the back because it affects their vision. It... It, it, it pushes their optic nerve, which dilates. I did that on the Ohio River when it was frozen. That was a weird tra that's that's transition, wasn't it? Yeah. From, yeah. And this is a god that fucking metal shows shit. a different side. You got a lot of, a lot of different people that probably, like, a lot to you that people probably don't perceive off your looks, you know? Well, I would, I, I will say this. There, There's a depth, like an onion to me. You know, there's different layers. This, all this, it, and I, I actually, I don't, I try not to judge too many times. But I always say to myself, if you're going to judge me on this, you'll never get to know this. They said this is the part of the onion that's dry and crackling <laughs> off before you start peeling it. Yeah, it gets green inside there. Yeah. So you see, that's <laughs> that's good. No, so it's, yeah, pro people probably wouldn't even think you would have known any of this stuff, though. Yeah, just I mean, looking at you. And I mean, to be honest, when you break it down, who cares how someone looks? Right. Yep. This is, for me, this is just more of an entertaining them. And... I think of it like wrestling. A wrestler goes out there, he either wants to be your good guy or he wants to be your bad guy. I try to provide whatever story you want, whatever it is. I've had women who fucking, they'll hit me up and they'll tell me all these little fantasies and like, that's why I don't talk about being married, engaged, having kids, because that takes your fantasy away. Because I, I want to be entertainment. I'm not entertaining once you get involved in the boogeyman, I'm turning up and you're like, oh, right, man. And next thing you know, I'm like, so I got diabetes. <laughs> I got yeah. a fucking child, and I, and I got a brand new puppy. That, take, <laughs> that takes you out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Could you imagine watching WrestleMania? Right, you're into WrestleMania, and fucking Rock starts fucking becoming Dwayne, and he starts talking about like, yeah, when I was nine, I I coughed up a loogie and it landed on my shirt. You know what? Remember whenever they had the fucking show about Ozzy Osbourne, 
And yeah. then his fucking bitch ass wife and bitch yeah, ass the, kids. The, the it wasn't so, hey, it wasn't so cool yeah, anymore. Yeah. Then I was yeah. like, fuck. Look at that I was like, just shaking now I said, he kind of just like slow. I yeah. said, and he's just Sharon fucking Hill. kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, but Sharon Hill, yeah. He's not so rock and roll, is he? Yeah, I was like, I said, damn. I said, he thought he went hard biting bats and shit. Now that, like, that's a good mad. example. Like, I was like, all right, let's do an Aussie. And the minute I heard him, like, yeah, I got the dog, baby. Yeah, yeah. This ain't rock and roll anymore. Yeah, I was like, I said, he's fucked up. He's going to have a stroke on me, man. Yeah, listen. And I went for him. Get him out of here. I went from wanting to listen and play music loud to like, I hope he's, I'm going to start praying for him and shit. You know who was cool though? That Viva La Bam. And he'd slap the shit out of his uncle all the time. That should uh, be annoying. You wouldn't his find uncle and his dad. I, I would do that too. No, yeah, he'd wake up his dad in the middle of the house. night and fucking do you crazy shit. The house. I, I, I ain't open no doors, buckets of water pouring on me and shit. I but mean, he had the money shit. How are they yeah. going to kick that him out of the annoying. fucking house? <laughs> like, well, that's just fucking up. He's just recording. I'm going to get some rock dirt and shit. Well, you know, that's why they allowed it because. Yeah, they're getting paid shit. They're getting paid. They're like, fuck. He's like, I hate getting my belly slapped at three. It's a Vito, right? Yeah, Don Vito. That was the name. That's what he looked like, a skinny version to, to, when to you get be, pissed off he's like that's, that's how Josh first getting pissed you to be fair it, this is just one image so sometimes I do a clown also so it just depends yeah. on, on oh, what so you characters. do different like whatever character you're feeling so do you yeah. have names for your characters like are they specific uh, like or, or, so no I mean if you, on my highlights I, I kind of break down the character a little bit on my highlights on Instagram so they, there's a guy who wants to turn my characters into the NFT so I'm oh, trying to yeah, develop yeah. the different characters and the different backstories behind them. So yeah, they, they kind of have names, kind of like generic kings, like the goth king, the vampire prince, the clown, you know. There's no like, his name is Henry. That's crazy. He's Henry. a clown and his name is Henry, but you can call him Hank. I like that clown Hank. from The Devil's Rejects. Yeah. Man, he's so, that movie's so dirty, like it's just so weird. You like, like Rob Zombie movies? It's really cringe. Like it's it's creepy, like scary. If that makes sense. Like, don't you like clowns? Yeah, it's almost yeah. realistic. Fucking clown boy. It's almost realistic. Like you go to some small ass town. Look, place. if I wanted your opinion, I'd slap you <laughs> off my zipper, bitch. Hey, <laughs> right, he be acting like it too. <laughs> no, some of them in the dirty ass wearing tighties. No, no yeah, he's like, <laughs> his girlfriend. She's like, she's like, boo. Yeah, she's like, he gets out the bed with the dirty. Where you going? He's like, get off me, woman. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me a fucking retard. Uh-huh. It's a wild ass movie. Well, watch the R word. Oh fuck! He said, yeah. "Watch it." He said, "Watch it around Harvey." He said, "He's gonna uh, get pissed." The, cl- the clown. The clown's man. fun though. I like doing the clown. I talk all kinds. Once I'm in a clown, I, when I was at that one club I was at, the clown was heavily forbidden. What? He didn't want the clown. Man, man. he oh, said something about that. He did say something about that. Oh, he said something about everything. <laughs> Uh, what do you, so how do you feel so, about that? So how, so how so, oh, that, that I, relationship in? Oh, it's, I mean, I, I still love him. He's like my little brother. You know? He said the same thing too. Yeah, I mean, it's, so you call him Big Brother? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm he a lot older yeah. than him. But, he, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> here, here's the thing: like, you're dead. A lot of times, like, he and and we have different different ages and different thoughts, guess, and we think differently. So <clears> the for, the only, there's a couple of things I had where it's like I would tell him like, why do you give a fuck what they think? Stop giving a fuck what everyone thinks. Fuck them. They say this, say fuck them. Mm-hmm. I own the, f- if I have the club, I'm like, fuck off. I own the club. Yeah. But at the same token, I think he put himself in a hole also because he made a couple silly decisions. We would say silly. Yeah. yeah a couple of decisions a little bit off. But, you know, it's, I admire him for his admission, for his ambition. Who about the bunnies? The bunnies? The bunnies. Oh, I don't know. When that? it wasn't Easter. The, let me tell you, it was definitely after I thought my it time. was you after you sent me I'll the tell pictures. you this. I'll tell you this. All those fucking ideas, they did come from me. That's the only thing I got pissed about. I gave him a bunch of ideas, and I figured it's like, he would have mentioned I gave him the goddamn idea. You know? the, yeah, I was thinking it was you. Props. So what I did is that I, gave him, I, I gave him the pajama jam party idea. Uh, I suggested sexy bunnies. That was it. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, what else? Did I Damn it, you're good. Uh, I said also uh, under the pier. I asked him when Bunny and I was again. Where's this Eller? Eller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I didn't like your ideas. So if you're watching Tanner, I still love you. Fuck you. I still love you. I'm not bothered. I'm not. I was pissed actually the you first two weeks. Fingers. The first two weeks. I was pretty pissed. <laughs> That's what happened. Because I mean, at the same time, like, I, I, I mean. Thank God he's got Colton. Colton knows his shit. 
Colton's a smart, smart kid, man. Colton, yeah. you smart son of a buck, wherever yeah. you are. No, I, and, and, and I, I loved everyone at that staff. I do. I mean, they're always welcome to my house. I have no bad thing to say about them. Uh, the only thing, it's just when we separated, there, there's a couple things that I, I kind of wish we could have done differently. You know what I mean? Um, and the only, the only gripe I had was I didn't get my roses, my dues, or the credit for the things I did as far as the ideas. Well, yeah, brought for the sure table. the bunny night. And I'll, I'll tell you for sure. And I and I told him I was like, taste. a lot of these days I actually work for free. Yeah, a lot Cut of those the days. Check. Yeah, which which is fine because it was something I believed in. I did. It wasn't like labor I had, of love. It was. I thought the idea was brilliant. You know, yeah. the 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 way he handled the boots and all that. I thought that was kind of a dumb thing. It's Texas. Look, you see that hat oh, right there. Yeah. You see that hat. They yeah. told me I couldn't make it in there with that. Yeah, I mean those boots. He he definitely. No go. I, he he holds on to a couple ideas I think he shouldn't hold on to. Like when he did the fucking pony or fucking little oh, horse idea, yeah. <laughs> I would abandon ship at the first sight. I'm like, you're right. My bad. Me cumpla. Okay, moving on. <laughs> but he's like, no. Where can we get a snake then? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I love the kid, dude, man. I mean, he's a, he's a, what, mark my words, you're going to see him running for mayor one day. No, that's cool that you can even talk highly of him. You know, you're not like somebody else. Like, I know a few people that, that is, that Look, got it. So what do you think about city, this city and clubs in the city now that you've been here for a little bit? So, uh, I've, I've owned a club once or twice in my life. I think you have a lot of people who, came up on some money somehow and they used that money to open a club for an idea that they liked but there's no research no real research there's no study there's no college behind it there's no degree there's no fucking experience there's none of that behind them what they're doing it's just they came up <coughs> on some money or they had other people that helped buy or get the club there, there's none of that shit involved when I did my club I did every position I've been a bartender I've been a bouncer I've been a door guy, I've been a waiter, I've been a cook, I've been a fucking service guy, I was a janitor, I fucking pulled tampons, I've 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 every I've painted the building, I've hung signs, every fucking thing you think you could do, I've done for the club before I ran my club. So you said pull and, and tam- do, tampons from yeah, the that's, toilets. That's, uh, toilets, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're making sure. Yeah, and, and let me tell you, I'll, I'll be honest, <laughs> that is the hardest thing to do. Like when when I did my club, I did it with my business partner and I told him I said Please, dear God, can we do anything other than this? This is a dumb idea. Like, can we just leave it there? It, it, <laughs> clubs are it's it's, looking at me. It's hard, man, because you have three years to turn a profit and do something with it. If you don't, you go under. It's I mean, think of any club, any anywhere. It could be California, Vegas. Clubs don't last that long. Oh no, you're right. It sounds like a restaurant here. A lot of restaurants open and close here, and you don't get a lot of. This is what I don't understand. I don't know why the people don't support their stuff here. I don't know why. I think, I think it's people the people. Don't like people they know here. Yeah. So somebody makes a business. Yeah, so yeah, know, yeah. It's like if they know you. Looking at like you so, probably, you so probably would have had a better shot at making a club not, here because you're not from here and true. everyone wouldn't know you, and you do something crazy yeah, and they'd be like, "It's kind of cool." Need, don't forget about something. Yeah, too, too many, too many personal too. relationships, and and you know, then politics gets playing. So the you, role too. you guys, how you guys go here? Just the city. You go to places, and this is not really bad. You go to eat, shop, and party at your friend's place. If your friend had a burger spot, that's where you're going. If your friend had a clothing store, that's where you're shopping. If your friend owns a bar, that's where you're going. If your friend's friends, that's where you're going. And that's how you do business is by your friends. Because it's such a small town, it's like, well, I know fucking Buck from a Ryder High, and I know David from a fucking Omo, whatever, fucking. Oh, David's God. like, I'm with yeah. you to go to Omo. <laughs> by the way, I gotta be honest. I think David would like you. The first time I heard about your fucking rival between Old High and Ryder, I fucking laughed because I thought they were fucking with me. I, that's that's a real ass thing. Like from an outsider, I know I know how deep it is for you guys, but from an I outsider, went to Burke High School, we shoot. I went to the Herald or Alternative School. Okay, so if you didn't go to any of those schools and you're not from here and you're outside the box, you generally when you watch a discussion, you just think to yourself. Oh, you really are a small town. Like you really are a jackass. No, you know what? It's Texas too. Texas is just big on football. 
they're big on football, mm-hmm. but you, like you've been to other the schools? rivals is that yeah they do big rivalries yeah. like you a lot can of be from somewhere never else. Went to other schools except for the military kids from Burke and Hershey. So a lot of people because they take them there. traveling to play but football. A lot of people never went to another junior high or high school, so they can't really speak. And and, and you guys also know each other for years, mm-hmm. like like David, you're going to old they're high. All related. Yeah, no, 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 but I mean just like yeah. rivalries, period. Like you can go to like play Alito or something and they're not they're another Because city. your great grandpa yes. went to the high school. No, 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 I'm saying like like these all these cities they'll play each other. There's like big rivalry. Like all the state football teams that are really badass in Texas, they're known. Oh, yeah, like everybody knows like Alito and fucking all those. Right, but like let's say Dallas. Like your dad may not go to the same high school you do in Dallas. Here True. your grandfather went to the same high school that you went to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and everybody's yeah. not all related and and you, you'll they inherit the house that your dad had and your grandpa had. You'll inherit that house. Dallas, they may sell it or they may not. So yeah. it, it's, it's, it changes, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, I, uh, I was first generation here. So we just came here and set up shop. <laughs> <laughs> like roaches. <laughs> Damn roaches. I, I, hey, I, 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 I would like rather say ants. They say spread out. They say spread out. You can't kill them. You know who I want to find? Like, who I want to meet? I saw your I podcast never. with that bald guy with the titty bar. Uh, oh, that's that. David. David, if you're watching, we need to fucking collab or do something, David. Yeah. By the way, I have I have an inkling for blondes. I like blondes. I don't know if you got a blonde. I can pull a couple for you. Yeah, I like blondes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, he he's pretty cool. So nah, he is a cool he can talk. He he knows a lot he's about a lot of different cool. things. That fool's cool as shit, yeah, man. You're yeah. fucking conceited, bro. <laughs> you can't even get the man props. David likes you. Like, don't a, downplay him as right. pretty cool. I mean, he shit. likes you, and that's what you're David, said. you're fucking awesome, dude. You fucking rock, bang bang, finger bang. <laughs> yeah. I get the left finger, you get the right, together. Man, Shoot y'all probably, twins. Yeah, y'all probably have some <laughs> no, finger banging stories. That's what I'm saying. I feel like yeah, y'all... Yeah, he was talking about how he worked in strip clubs okay. and stuff. Would you be down to do a show with him? Absolutely. Say when, say less, and No, now. man, we got to tell him. He said, I'm texting him now. He said, we're going to line this shit up. No, that'd be awesome. David, bring the dancers too. I like blonde. Next week. Hey, I was gonna, I was going to make some bad clips. So you know we had a contest when we did decent. So we had we had like a like a loud, fucking right? uh, I don't want to call it a YouTube thing, but it was it's a so live funny. broadcast on a thing called You Now. <laughs> and we had a contest between me and this person, and we the contest was see who could get the boner first. So <laughs> we popped our Viagras because they worked ching, ching, instantly, <laughs> and we had a couple of chicks kind of dance on us, and it was. Whoever got the boner first lost the game. But I don't know why that was losing the game, to be honest. I think that's really winning the game. But then it was an awkward because we were both sitting there with the boner on the fucking doing our little show together, <laughs> talking Damn. about things. They said, and then the girl leaves. <laughs> said, I don't know. So I'm not, a, I don't get boners or lab dances. Never been able to do it. Never but that dude or girl said that. <laughs> no, me. No, I'm saying I don't personally. You, well, you gotta go better clubs, buddy. I gotta be good. I He's gotta like, be, no, I, gotta, I never will. No, I've been to all of them. No, I'm just saying, I just gotta know I'm about to fuck. I'm I'm saying, saying, I'm, then I'm, you know then what? I'll get hard because I said I'm ready for action. You, you know what it is? You need to be set up for fucking success. Don't go with tight jeans, first and foremost. I, I've been in sweatpants. Okay, okay. <laughs> go with sweatpants. Go. Were you wearing underwear, though? Oh, shit, yeah. I wore underwear. Too. That's, yeah, there you go. He said, Next stop time, you right there. He up. said, strapped you down. You Next up. time, go with no underwear and fucking pair of sweats and just be in a positive mind frame and position yourself. You like got to position yourself. And tell her. Tell her. <laughs> tell her. You're going to get paid to so do your due, okay? You know, janitor comes in. He's going to clean the toilet. You're going to do your job. You're going to get me a boner. If you don't get me a boner, <laughs> no tippy tippy if you can't get the tippy you tippy. Said, get out. And I say, <laughs> leave. He's like, I'm gross. Leave. I said, <laughs> I said, it didn't work. Wait so, a minute. He doesn't really think like that. Marcos is tripping. I, you, know, you know what I'm sad about, dude? I, I actually fucking, we don't have Pornhub anymore, dude. Man, I've been looking and there's a lot of them, man. Man, you can get a VPN mm. or some shit. I was trying to get a bait in a fucking couple weeks ago, dude. I couldn't. Cook it bait in. Go on the dark web. Get you, get you a laptop. Get you a little. Oh, I don't do the dark force, no. brother. I can't go there. Get you a couple credit cards. I can't get the dark forces. No dark forces for me, sir. Yeah, he'll he'll get he get to do some dark shit. You don't want him. I'm, I'm afraid of that pool. That's a dark yeah. pool. Yeah, Things you're gonna like he did. You're gonna end it with P Diddy. They'll be like, nah. come over here. No, <laughs> come over here. You want to see something fun? Do you hate anyone? How much do you hate your father? 
No, I don't hate my father. <laughs> nah, baby, nah, baby, you want to pay $50? Nah, no doubt. <laughs> well, look, I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here so we did perfect an hour ago. Yeah, you got to come back with Doug. Wait, wait, wait. What's the longest you ever gone? Shit, like two hours by accident. By accident? Shout out to Bear. Yeah. Shout out to Bear. Yeah, he hit me up today. Say Bear, man, he could talk. So you need to talk to him, too. That's another guy right, to talk to. We 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 gotta, we, 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 gotta do, we, we gotta do another one. To, yeah, then, I shoot for I shoot for an hour hour and a half. Did you ever get a hold of your your, your bald uh, stripper friend? Yeah, yeah. bald stripper. Bald stripper. <laughs> I don't know his name. I'm sorry. What? We call him Dirty D. Sorry, Bodie, Bodie. I'm sorry, <laughs> Bodie, Bodie. <laughs> oh, I think I think you're cool though. This. Nah, yeah, nah, he's cool as hell. You gonna like, like him even more? I'm not doing it now. He made fun of my male pattern baldness. Now you're gonna like him even more, like when you meet him. So look, thank you. Do you think he'll let me rub his head? Hell yeah, he Probably, will. Probably yeah. Dave is a real humble, cool ass dude. Like, will you no. let me lick the head? He, he got a like he got a uh, face like of stone. I mean, I'll boogie. He man. see me. He see me drunk a lot of times, and Here, never here's the next. Here's the next episode. Man, he just, Such a fucking flex. Me and David <laughs> and a couple shit. of dancers, and I get to boogeyman their face. <laughs> I'm sending this to David right yeah. now as we speak. I it's love a- you, Bodie. Bodie, you're cool. I want to do a boogie man face. Bodie, Bodie, finger Wally. banging, finger it's banging. Like Holmes. Hey, we're gonna see. We're gonna see who's finger bang more girls. That's what we'll do. We'll have a Fingers count. For light. We go bing, bing, bing. No, no, no. Bing, no. He's sandbagged it, brother. Bing. He, nah, he see, owns a go, strip go club. Sober, bing. He owns a strip club. <laughs> 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 I had already stopped. That's like asking who ate more tacos: the guy that owns a taco stand or the pedestrian. Believe me, if you ask him, he'll be honest. Own the strip club is is not all that. I worked at strip clubs, man. It was a headache. Have you ever been to stripper? Oh, I've banged a lot of strippers. Have you ever stripped? Oh, yeah, yeah I've done the stripping thing. I've cool, done that, cool. too. He wants yeah. to hire you for a party. Uh, well, yeah, I'm telling you, man, it's going to cost a lot, but I'll do it, I guess. You ready? Uh, <laughs> I'll strip. It's so hard <laughs> oh, <don't>. to <laughs> say goodbye. No, I know. You probably got a lot more Dude. you want to talk about. It's fun, right? Well, uh, I that? mean, it's, it, 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 they don't shut up. I mean, that's my disease, you know? No, nah, but we need people like that. Yeah, I'm sort of talking a lot. Like you to point the fingers and hey, say... David, the- David said he showed up in character nice. He likes your style. <laughs> right. He likes the style. He's got a crazy accent, too, dude. Oh, uh, it's West Virginian. A West Virginian guy. Oh, I, oh West Virginia. Yeah. West Virginia. You got it. Look, thank so, y'all. Yeah. Say, uh, we're going to sign out. I appreciate y'all watching. So y'all, y'all interacted a lot. Hey, check out my Instagram, D Student Joey. Not D Baby the Rapper. D Student Joey. D All Student one Joey. Word. Appreciate y'all.